Okay, framers, <clears throat> uh, this is how you import uh, vectors from Illustrator to Framer. All right, I've got two artboards, one that's called Circle, one that's called House. I shall make this a color here. not okay so we want these separate SVGs um, so use separate artboards okay so now I'm gonna export four screens okay I'm just gonna export it to my desktop for example, and we want SVG. Okay, cool. So on my desktop, which is terribly, there's circle and there's house, which is terribly messy. Okay, off to Framer. Drag and drop, bing, house. Uh, that one's not the right color circle. I'm guessing I didn't overwrite this one. No worries. So this one here is, if you look, you can change the fill. If you double click them, you can edit them in this drawing mode. So they are full vector editable, and that's really any software that gives you this option, you must take it for it is super important to have this editability here okay so the secret was to make this into an SVG I'm curious about why that didn't turn blue let's let's double check that I'm guessing it wasn't clicked export four screens it wasn't clicked bling I meant teal, not blue. That's silly. Blue green. Okay, there's house. Comes in. Nice. Okay, that's how you do it. Simple, not intuitive. Happy framing. <laughs>